Hello and welcome to True Guidance Tarot. I'm Adriana Theodora Dyer. I'm a spiritual medium and intuitive reader, your guide to a clearer and higher perspective. I have a message, a guided message for Pisces today. This is from my guide, spirit, and the other side. I'm asking for messages of awareness this week. What is the information that we really need to help us move forward on our path? Um, yeah, what do we need to be aware of? So let's see what the cards have for you. So Pisces, interesting, we've got the Four of Cups starting your reading. Now, this is the energy of being a bit checked out, just being emotionally a little bit checked out, that there's something, some feelings you may not be wanting to pay attention to or may not be wanting to deal with. So you're trying to make yourself or you're just feeling just a little bit emotionally kind of flat. So, okay, they're saying to keep going because I'm like, I can't get anything else out of this card here. We've got the King of Swords going on. So we've got a lot of mental activity happening. A lot of trying to figure out what's what's really on the horizon, what's really the best way forward. And it's coming across as a lot of strategy and not, not strategy in a way <clears throat> that's Oh, how do I describe this to you? The image is so clear in my head. I'm having a hard time verbalizing it. Um, it's almost strategy with only the idea of personal gain going on. It's not really big picture strategy that looks at the implications of what this means for a lot of people or what this means even ideally or idealistically. It's really looking out for, okay, how do I get what I want? How do I make this happen for me? And, um, it's really strange that the emotions are so pushed down here because all of this energy is going up into the head because the emotions aren't really being listened to or taken into account. Yeah, all the energy is just going very much up here. Um, the only problem with living out of our head is that it's really not our true self. It, it is a, the, the mind is a receptive collector. It collects ideas, it collects information but it's not really our true self. It would be like asking my, my little finger to make decisions for me. You know, it's not, it's not the place that really makes decisions. So um, I'm interested to see where they're taking us next with this. So let's keep going. I've got the world next. I've got the high priest. And then we've got the three of cups. So this is very interesting, Pisces, because it's showing you that your heart's desire is actually not only emotional engagement, but emotional engagement with other people. It's interesting because these three cups here are full and they're being celebrated. There's a lot of joy. There's camaraderie. There's, there's heart. It's like a heart's desire being fulfilled. That sense of belonging to a community just makes you feel so happy. And here on this card where we started you see those three cups down there are empty and the only one that's full is is hers <laughs> the one that kind of represents her vital energy in the back so all these other cups are empty and this also i'm not feeling like we're talking about creativity sometimes the three can be creativity um it's funny because we have another three in the world and so we get a double three in your outcome here we're not really talking about creativity, but we're talking about what does what really makes your cup full. So where, <laughs> where are you diverting your energy so that your cup is not full? Because right now this this energy here is folk is happening because the cups are empty. All of that mental energy is being expanded, expended, and. Um, <laughs> I want to say exploited because, because these emotional needs, these emotional centers are just not being met. They're not being fulfilled. The high priest, so the world is showing us, okay, what would it take to make you feel whole? And the high priest is clearly indicating, he's pointing at this card almost in a way. And so it's something more simple than what we're thinking. It's, it's there on the earth. It's there for you. It's not somewhere up in the mystical spiritual realm. It came out of there, of course, but 
Um, it's something on the earth that is right within the reach of your fingertips. Like this, this people reaching out to these people or this community is like, it's right there for you. You could just reach out and touch it. Um, so the, the only thing I can tell you, because obviously no reading can take away your free will. It can only show you options. This here, if this continues, you're going to continue to find yourself very alone. You're going to continue to find yourself very feeling very unsupported and like you're the only one you can count on and of course that's true like we have to trust ourselves first but it it puts you at odds with the rest of the world where you're not really allowed to touch it you're not allowed to flow in it it's not going to feel comfortable to be in it because you're always going to feel detached from it or cut off from it or that you don't belong so on the other side is saying to help you feel complete is whatever it takes to make your cup feel full, whether that is a community for, for you. I know I said it wasn't creativity, but it might be. Three, we've got a double three here, so we've got um, possibly creativity, but it's really something that fills up, fills you up emotionally, makes you feel good, it <laughs> makes you feel content, makes you feel satisfied, and allows you to engage with other people in a way that you can be supported. These people want to support you. They're right there for you. They're just like right there. I could grab them with my hand. They want to help you feel supported. You're really not as checked out, alone, and cut off as you think you are. This is what's going on. This is what your mind is doing to you because the reality is something very different. So Pisces, questions about that, please let me know. Um, if you feel this or if you're feeling compelled to, please um, subscribe or hit that like button if if this resonated with you and if you're feeling like that's that's the right way forward. I also invite you to check out my website, trueguidancetarot.com. It has a lot of really amazing one-on-one -on -one offerings, readings. Um, I also have classes, uh, virtual classes online. So if you're interested in learning tarot or just learning more about something, please reach out, let me know. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great week.